Alright, Gamers Gaming for Gamers here, and we're gonna do something a little new. Not exactly really trying to show off any gameplay or anything. We're just um, gonna have like a little chat session talking about things in the video game world. So we have Andreas. And Eric. And the discussion for today is we want to talk about the new Devil May Cry, because a lot of people have lots of things to say about it, and we feel that it's, it's worth talking about. So, just to start... There seems to be this fence that someone needs to be on one side of or another. And, um, I think, I think we're on the angry side, aren't we? Uh, I'd, I'd say so. <sighs> Gen general consensus is that we, we do not like this. God, and, um, there's a lot of baseless anger out there, like... <laughs> All that teenage angst! <laughs> it's a, like, everyone, oh man, just because he's got, like, dark hair, like, okay, it's... That was the original thing. I think it's it's a of little course. it's well, a little beyond that now. Yeah, since there's actual gameplay and stuff out there, there you and go. like the demo that we've all played and shit. So um, yeah, so are we still angry though? Um, cause you know I like I haven't really played all the older DMCs. I I did like you know long time ago PS2 era, so I have like a sort of idea of what's going on. But um, I am angry. Yeah. I'm pretty angry and it's for gameplay reasons no that, see that's good like that's the, a good reason to be angry it's combat okay as you can see there are all these styles and they've been around forever well not forever but they they've been around <laughs> and in 3 they had a system where you picked one permission and 4 they improved it you can have all of them all the time you can switch between them like in the middle of combat, and that makes for some pretty crazy fucking combos if you know what you're doing. And having, like, a skill ceiling that high, I love. I love knowing that someone can do some crazy shit. Even if I'm not gonna do it, it's just good to know. Yeah, it's, it's it impressive. Makes me happy. Those videos are, like, people like you've do seen them. pull well, off some crazy combos. We're gonna have to, like, bring up a link to, like, one of them. But, um, god, I'm trying to even just, like, invoke, like, half a second of it, but, like... <laughs> Letting him down, Andy. You're you're showing the internet that you're actually terrible at this game. So just like the lack of potential, like I, I played the demo, I played it at Comic Con, I played it when it came out, and no styles. I don't think anyone's ever talked about it. Like the weapon switching's still there, which they put in this game where it's just like on the fly, which is great. Once again for combos, that's not so present. I feel like it's just hampering what you can get away with. It's it's, it's simplified, if you would put it that way, yeah, right? Yeah, it's... Alright, in the demo, there's only, like, three weapons available, so I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna go. Um, you can't switch your guns because there's only one gun. It's, I know there's multiple, just in trailers you can see that. Hmm. So, I want to see how they're gonna pull that off but I mean as of now just just a lack of styles I really don't see how they're gonna surmount that yeah that that alone like I said not a huge um, knowledge base for me on DMC but four different styles compared to all the weapons that you have sounds like or what is it five is there five styles there's five styles five yes. so five styles plus the amount of weapons that you have I'm sure means that's a lot of potential combos that could be done and just overall, you know, I, I don't even know. There's just a lot of shit. That's a lot. It's a lot to comprehend. Yeah. You know? <sighs> so taking that out is terrible from what it sounds. It's just scary. I just... <clears throat> I'm scared of change. Oh, no. They're changing our video games. And I feel like a lot of people think it's baseless, but, um, okay, we'll talk a little about Ninja Theory, right? Yeah. So, what games they have under their belt? It's... Oh, um... Heavenly Sword. Heavenly Sword. And, um, ah, oh, the other one. Yeah, I know, it's enslaved? like... Enslaved? Is Yeah, it is Enslaved. Okay. Yeah, those, um... Now... They're pretty yeah. subpar. I, I wanted to, like, watch myself. I didn't want to, like, completely... <laughs> well... 
They they weren't received too crazily. Yeah, like, I mean, I it's, I was working at GameStop when Enslave came out. I that game really was not great. It really it just it, there was nothing. It, it just kind of came out, and a few people might have bought it and probably regretted it, and it dropped down to twenty bucks, and I'd say maybe like a month or two. <sighs> okay, so that's not a great track record. Heavenly Sword. Um, that I how do people I feel about that because. I don't, you know, you know why it's so hard to tell with Heavenly Sword because Heavenly Sword is a PS3 exclusive. So when you go to talk about Heavenly Sword, you get the argument that oh, it's on PS3. Oh, it's... so I'm just, I uh, is that really a problem for people. I, I don't I mean, know. It's a problem That's for like... people wanting to play it if they don't have that, I guess. But um, yeah, but it gets that like that argument that like oh, it's a PS3 exclusive, so it's kind of good. Uh, is kind of what I get. But I really can't comment on it because I just haven't played it. I've heard a lot of kind of sketchy things about the combat where it got yeah. kind of like repetitive, where you oh. just kind of started mashing a single button. And I don't know, okay. Like, even if that's not 100% true, the, the things we're saying about them are not like. For you to put the, like, future of a franchise into like someone that i don't even like is not was not on my radar yeah. really like yeah they're a very small like name and i mean okay i i don't know it's so hard for me to say that like i can agree with their decision just based on like i got i'm trying to think like i have this idea about like that game and it's just like what people are doing with franchises nowadays it's you know, like, how old's DMC? Uh, PS2 era, okay? So, it's almost like they feel like now, and look, 4 came out, was, 4 was big when it came out, wasn't it? Yeah. It was, I mean, was people were well angry at it, because, once again, like, they did, like, kind of thing with the main character, where, you know, it was Nero. Oh, yeah, so, so they were it still, like, delaying Dante. the story. So it's, it's not so much, like, it's just the fact that people were like, I don't want to fucking play this character. Why isn't this Dante? Which oh. is a lot more baseless than, like, the anger that's going on now. Yeah. I think. Yeah, no, because... It's like, Dante's like... still in, like, shit. And yeah. there was a lot of complaint where, um, half, like, the first half of this game you played Nero, right? Second mm. half of the game you, um, went back and played all the places Nero went with Dante. So people were like, oh, man, fucking rehashing stages. <laughs> Which, uh... I, I don't even want to start defending. I can kind of see it. Yeah. Like, that's a valid argument, I guess. Well, that, that sounds fine. But, I mean, it's two styles of gameplay, even though Nero's substantially simpler. And that actually made a lot of people who were introduced to the series in 4, which I got to really just disclaimer myself. That's me. <laughs> so, but I didn't have this problem. A lot of people were like, Switching from Nero to Dante, they didn't like because Nero, A, is a lot simpler, and he's got, you know, the arm. The stinger? Oh, just the, the arm in general, you yeah. mean? Yeah. You could just grab enemies from far away and, like, made things really easy. Like, people don't want to, like, run up to someone and, you know, get up there mm -hmm. and start fighting them. they just like, all right, bring them here and then, like, deal with it. it. It was really, like, good for enemy control, so it made a lot of people who weren't, like, new to the series not like Dante and, like, all the, like, complicated stuff he could do. They just wanted to go back to Nero. I mean, I don't want to generalize hmm. too much here, but, I mean, that definitely was uh, Jake's thing. He was like, I miss the arm, and I don't like playing Dante. <laughs> that's hard. That's, like, uh, I under I understand, but, like, still, that's so hard to say because it's a part of the game, though. Like, Dante is, da I mean, Dante is the game, but, like, I don't know. That's a weird argument to like the first half of the game just because it's like something different. So, I don't know. I'm I trying mean, to think like where I was like gonna go with <laughs> that, but <laughs> just four was anyway. generally well received. Yeah. Like in terms of combat, it was improved. I I would love someone to say the combat was not improved from three to four because then they're just being like a fan. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that out there. Okay. You think the combat didn't get better? Please, please say things and be angry. I love <laughs> that. I just, I, you know, what? I still don't understand why this change needed to happen. And uh, like of all things, even from a story perspective, why go back to Dante's origins? 
Okay, yes. This is one other thing we really wanted to get into. Like, story-wise, we there's no good reason we need to be, like, rebooting the thing. There are so many gaps in the plot of Devil May Cry. Yeah, I, remember, I had, like, um... Brian was explaining the whole story to me, and he was just saying how there's, like, all these plot holes, like, and there's so much unexplained things. In the game, there are just, like, these... Between the games, the order goes, okay, it's Devil May Cry 2... No, it's Devil May Cry. It's, Three is the first one, then one happens, and then four happens, and then oh, two yeah. happens. That's the order of things. And in between all of those games, there are substantial time gaps. <laughs> like, no one knows what happens between four and two, where, like, Dante becomes this ultra-depressed guy that he was in two, where, like, everyone hated the game because he was not, like, being crazy party pizza. <laughs> and, um... So that was... That's a big thing that needs to be explained. Like, Nero's origins, like, they really don't fucking explain it too much here. So, they basically say he's got the arm of Dante's father. No idea why. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, so, like, no one... Probably never see that character again, from the sound of it. See, I... But yeah, look at all this. Why, why did you, like, go back and make a start? Why would you start instead of finishing what you already have? It's... I don't know. Okay, they said they wanted to appeal to, like, the Western audience. That they felt they were losing us. They're losing us now! Like, who who told them that we didn't want Devil May Cry? I want to know, so I can, like, punch them in the mouth. I mean, they're, they're not even trying to make it not Devil May Cry. Like, they're... It seems like they're taking lots of steps to, like, bring in the old, like, a lot of Capcom and ensure that, like, this game is not getting turned into something that they feel isn't, like, Devil May Cry. But, um, it's still, like... It's still terrible, Change though. of publisher, we, we well, can only speculate reason? on until the game comes out. Yeah. Um, n need to reboot? I don't know. That, I think that was a horrible idea. Maybe they just did it because they felt they needed to based on the fact they have a new publisher working this. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that that's tough when you when you do it like that and you're, you're handing someone this work and I saying, know. you know... I don't feel you need to, like, fuck the continuity just because you've got someone else working on it. Look at 343. Three. No, okay? that's true, but, you know, there is a difference, though. Like, I know very little of Ninja Theory, but... It's, I see it in, like, this game now, you know? Like, if, if I had known a little bit more and just, like, watched the new DMC and you didn't tell me who was publishing it, I probably could have told you. Because, like, they just have, like, this weird style to their games. So, oh, happy birthday. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and, like, now uh, it's becoming more apparent that it's just in that game, so... I guess it was just up to them, you know, Capcom was kind of just like, here's this, we're going to make sure you're doing a few things right, but the rest of it, we're just going to leave up to you, and instead of, I don't know, continuing it, because, like, if you're handing it off, though, what, unless you give them all the resources, you know, I wish I knew more about that, like, the whole production cycle, because I'm sure that would make a hell of a lot more sense to me right now. Yeah, uh, see, so much just, like, yeah, I know it's a lot of behind-the-scenes thing, but we're, we're just here to speculate because we can, and this is what we do with our daily lives, is just bullshit about things that we hardly have an answer for. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's basically what this segment is about. Just nothing here is fact, just opinion, what we think, and... Uh. We try to get facts, but... We try to get for facts, the most part, I mean, we just how like much to... can you really know about something that's not out yet? Yeah. I mean, the fucking easy way out is to say just, like watch and let it happen but like it's, it's kind of but, fun to try to like, yeah this is, this is just our thing we play video games and yeah. talk about them and whether one likes it or not this is this is how it works people are always gonna fucking try to speculate we're just doing it publicly mm -hmm. so I'm trying to think damn we you just missed so much. Yeah, I, I did absolutely nothing. <laughs> uh, I think we covered all the things we wanted to cover. Um, Is there anything we left out? Are we just angry? Should we like just say like Dante shouldn't look like that guy? 
Dante shouldn't look like a 13 year old angsty teenager. I don't know, I mean, I, I, they sort of fixed that, I guess. They cleaned him up a bit, yeah. Yeah, a little. Fucking dialogue makes me want to kill myself. I, oh, oh actually, killer. that's it. That Got was, nice um, ring to it, don't think? Yeah. Oh my god, some, like, if you compare just the writing from one game to another, it's sad. It's so sad, because it's so bad now. Fuck you. I know it's so overdone, but fuck you. That's it. Like, Tamim was just sitting there, and the only thing he could think to write was, fuck you. That's it. That's all we get. That's the tagline. Ah. <sighs> You know, this this reminds me of like that that good old quote that got brought up, where the original Don Taker is like, if you want to give a character substance and like you're really bad at it and you don't know how, just make him smoke. It's the easiest way to make a cool character without actually doing anything. And it's just like he's like, I never want Dante to be like that. I want people to like him because of like the things I'm doing with him and the things you do with him and the things he does, not. It's because he smokes or because he looks a certain way. Yeah. Oh my god, that's it. There we go. We hit it. That's that's what's wrong. That's what's going on here. It's just like the whole, wrong the whole premise. Yeah, the whole premise of DMC is done wrong. They're trying to fix it in a way that was never meant to be taken, I guess. Yeah, they're just trying to make it cool. And like, you know what? I, now you're like saying all that, I could see it. I could see a bunch of like, 13 year old kids just being like oh my god look at this game he told that giant monster to fuck you like I mean it is still a business at the end of the day you gotta remember these are people are trying to make money yeah not not trying to make it sound like it's like this big callous world where like they don't care about your obviously they care about your opinion because you're a source of oh man that still sounds even like no it, it's it is true though and, and you know what that's the thing oh my god I'm about to get into like a whole nother like tangent of just the industry of like video games nowadays and all that shit. Oh, maybe yeah, it's another that's, day. That's another day. Um, we're just going to try to keep this on DMC. Uh, huh. So, yeah, I mean, I know it's still a business, but, like, I don't know. I, I just, I feel wrong about it. Uh, but I know that there are some of us that are getting this game. And, uh, I got nothing to do but be mad. That someone gave them money for that game. Awesome. I'll be there with you. We can all be mad together. Good. As long as, uh, as long as I can take someone else down with me. When is that coming out anyway? January? So I guess we'll have a follow-up to this in January. Oh my god. Yeah, we'll play it. Oh wait, in January. It's January right now. Yeah, happy New Year. Saying? Oh yeah, Happy New Year, guys. <laughs> By the way... Day one, we're already putting stuff out there. Yeah. It's a new year! It's a new time for videos and games and... Video games. <laughs> but I did that! Video game videos, wow. <laughs> well, I was gonna end it when you, uh... Killed him, and I thought it was gonna be a little bit faster. Oh man, I'm sorry. So now we're just uh, we're in that awkward like goodbye phase. I could always like die. That's pretty fast. No, you can finish killing him. It's okay. Unless you're just really bad and you die anyway. Hold on, let me try to. Okay, one of the styles of Royal Guard. Uh, if you're watching, you might know this, where you try to like parry stuff. Uh, goddamn. I don't. I wonder if you can parry bosses. Oh. I think I'd... Oh wait, no, I just did the attack. It seems like I'm, fi Can't I'm on fire. Harry bosses. I got really good at well, guard against like enemies, but well. <laughs> oh, right. uh, well, that wasn't a point. I got to say words. Hopefully, you guys give a shit about some words. Fourteen minutes. Uh, that's a lengthy amount of words. Yeah, there there was a lot of words that were said in those fourteen minutes and forty four seconds. Alright guys, Gamers Gaming for Gamers, we'll be back another time.